Today's presentation is about Mavazi, which is also called Bevacizumab, AWWB, or ABP215. It's a biosimilar to Avastin. The FDA approved Mavazi as a biosimilar to Avastin, also called Bevacizumab, for the treatment of multiple types of cancer on September 14, 2017. Mavazi is the first biosimilar approved in the U.S. for the treatment of cancer. The FDA granted approval of Mavazi to Amgen, Inc. Avastin was approved back in February 2004 and is manufactured by Genentech. Mavazi is approved for the treatment of adult patients with certain colorectal, lung, brain, kidney, and cervical cancers. Note, when I compared the indications for Mavazi and Avastin on September 15, 2017, the wording of the two prescribing information documents was identical. Specifically, the approved indications include metastatic colorectal cancer in combination with intravenous 5-fluorouracil-based chemotherapy for first or second line treatment, or in combination with fluoropyrimidine irinotecan or fluoropyrimidine oxaliplatin-based chemotherapy for second-line treatment of patients who have progressed on a first-line bevacizumab product-containing regimen. Again, this is all in the prescribing information. Mavazi is not indicated for the adjuvant treatment of surgically resected colorectal cancer, which is also the same for bevacizumab or avastin. Mavasi is also approved for non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer in combination with carboplatin and paclitaxel for the first-line treatment of unresectable, locally advanced, recurrent, or metastatic disease. It's also approved for glioblastoma with progressive disease following prior therapy based on improvement in objective response rate. No data is available demonstrating improvement in disease-related symptoms or survival with bevacizumab products. Metastatic renal cell carcinoma in combination with interferon alpha is another indication. And then cervical cancer that is persistent, recurrent, or metastatic in combination with paclitaxel and cisplatin or paclitaxel and topotecan. Again, the indications for Mavazi and Avastin are identical. The mechanism of action, so when I compared the mechanism of action listed in the prescribing information for Avastin and Mavazi, the wording was identical except that Bevacizumab was replaced with Bevacizumab products in the Mavazi prescribing information. So this agent binds to vascular endothelial growth factor and prevents the interaction of VEGF to its receptors, which is FLIP1 and KDR, on the surface of endothelial cells. The interaction of VEGF with its receptors leads to endothelial cell proliferation and new blood vessel formation in in vitro models of angiogenesis. A study did demonstrate pharmacokinetic equivalence of this agent, Mavazi, with Bevacizumab or Avastin. The phase one study was conducted by Amgen to evaluate the pharmacokinetic profiles of Bevacizumab AWWB, also called ABP215 or Mavazi, with Bevacizumab in healthy males. Patients were randomized to receive Mavazi or Bevacizumab. The pharmacokinetics of Mavazi were similar to both Bevacizumab in the U.S. and Bevacizumab in the EU. There were two different study groups, and the safety and tolerability were comparable between the treatments. No subjects developed binding or neutralizing anti-drug anti antibodies. Dosing. Like Avastin, Mavasi is available as 100 mg per 4 milliliter or 400 mg per 16 milliliter in a single dose vial. It's administered as an intravenous infusion. Please do see the prescribing information for preparation and administration instructions. Dosages of this agent are identical to those listed in the Avastin prescribing information and range from 5 mg per kilogram to 15 mg per kilogram, depending on tumor type, chemotherapy, and dosing protocol used. There are no contraindications with Mavazi. The 
box warnings from Avazi are identical to Avasta and they include gastrointestinal perforations, surgery and wound healing complications, and hemorrhage. Warnings and precautions for Mavasi are again similar to Avastin or identical actually. They include perforation or fistula, arterial and venous thromboembolic events, hypertension, posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome, proteinuria, infusion reactions, embryo-fetal toxicity, and ovarian failure. Clinical trial information listed on the Mavasi prescribing information is identical to that contained in the Avastin prescribing information. Overall, nine studies listed in the prescribing information, all conducted with Avastin, are available. A search of clinicaltrials.gov that I did indicated one phase three study with ABP215 or Mavasi. Uh, none showed up when I searched with Bevacizumab, AWWB, or Mavazi. The study compared ABP215 with Bevacizumab in 642 subjects with advanced non-small cell lung cancer. The protocol was paclitaxel followed by carboplatin to be administered on the same day and after infusion of either ABP215 or Bevacizumab up to six cycles. No data appear to have been published in a peer-reviewed journal at this time. However, data on the study were presented at the American Society of Clinical Oncology Annual Meeting in 2016. This was abstract 9095. The study showed an overall response rate in the intent to treat population of 39% in 128 patients with Mavazi and 41.7% in 131 patients treated with Avastin. Patients with grade three or greater treatment emergent adverse events were 42.9% with Mavazi versus 44.3% with Avastin. Treatment emergent adverse events leading to study discontinuation affected 18.8% with Mavazi and 17.2% of subjects with Avastin, treated with Avastin. So the conclusion from that study is that it met its primary endpoint, demonstrating that Mavazi is clinically similar to Avastin with comparable treatment at emergent adverse events, at least in this particular setting. Um, Mavasi does not appear to have been compared with Avastin in other settings, although I'm obviously not privy to whatever information Amgen has on this topic, but none of that is published. So if you're going to go by the Avastin prescribing information, then that is certainly something that can be done. Although one could say that further studies are needed comparing this agent with Avastin in all the different tumor types for which Mavasi is indicated. According to the press release, Mavasi is the first anti-cancer biosimilar as well as the first bevacizumab biosimilar approved by the FDA. And according to Sean E. Hopper, MD, Executive Vice President of Research and Development at Amgen, the approval of Mavasi marks a significant milestone for healthcare practitioners and patients as the first anti-cancer biosimilar approved in the United States. Of note, Amgen and Allergen's Bevacizumab biosimilar, i.e. Mavazi, is also undergoing review by EMA, the European Medicines Agency, following a marketing authorization application submitted in December 2016. The companies are collaborating on the development and commercialization of four oncology biosimilars. Amgen has a total of 10 biosimilars in its portfolio, two of which have been approved by the FDA, including Mavazi. So it remains to be seen how these biosimilars compare in clinical trials with these agents compared to the originally approved agents, but it would appear that this will create a nice level of competition, which will hopefully drive the price of certain biological agents available in oncology, certainly drive those prices downwards, so that's a good thing.